Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a DIY. Um, basically, um, I finished one of my centerpieces. Well, this is not centerpieces. This is for the ice cream buffet. And this is one, and this is another one. And they were pretty easy to do, but I'm going to show you how to do this one on camera today because I'm I got to make two more, one in green and one in pink so let's get into let's do this one real quick and show you i got this from the dollar tree dollar and i got the candle stick from the dollar tree and the only thing i did was spray paint it in gold this was clear and i just put this um thing on top and it got e6000 on it and it's sturdy and that is all she wrote with that one so that one was pretty 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 easy and this one is actually this right here I hold it yesterday um I don't know if I put the video up but um it will be up um this is the cookie jar that I got from Dollar Tree and I paid a dollar and I spray painted the lid and then this is actually this this was actually black and it's um a what you call it uh a candle warmer you know where you put the oil in here and then a tea light candle you put the tea light candle here and all that so what i did i just flipped it and i started putting two on it so i'll show you how to do that and then um i'll show you how to um attach th this on here i'll take the price tag off in a minute so um let me clear this off and get back to you so where i can position the camera so you can actually see what i'm doing okay i am back i am back so i just want to make sure it's situated okay this is what you will need you will need your jar and your base this is the base i'm going to use you're going to need E6000 if you're going to do this one. Your hot glue gun and um, whatever ribbon or whatever you're going to put around here. And I'm going to actually use this um, Shopkins ribbon and put little bowls in the front. So, let's get started. And you will need 32 pieces of tool. Roughly between seven and eight inches. It all depends on you. I don't really measure. I just wrap around my fingers and cut because I like the the uni the it, you know it's not even. I like that way. I don't like everything all uniform sometimes. So I'm gonna show you how to put this on it. Let me see. I usually just fold it in half. The side that's not stretchy, fold it this way in half, and then you have a loop. Right? Put the loop this way. Put the loop. Pass it through the middle. Let's see. Pass it through the middle, and then pull. So you have a loop. Then pull. So let me show you guys again. Loop and pull, loop, pull, see, loop, and pull. This one just a little bit longer, but I'm going to cut it anyway, so, and then, that's how you go, and then you just loop. You pull it through. And this is like the most time consuming it's going to take is to do this the tool. But um, yeah. So I decided to use these three colors because that's the three colors I'm using on my daughter's um, tutu. 
and I think it's so freaking cute. It came out really cute. I know y'all probably say this girl used tulle on everything, but it's summertime and I just love tulle. And plus it's not that expensive as lace and you know other things. Cause you can get that tool. I think you get I'll tell you right now how many yards you get. 25 yards, six inch tool for 25 yards for two dollars. Not even two dollars. I think it's 197 or something like that. So definitely can't beat that. Surely can't. You can use this on a lot of stuff. So So, this is basically what you're going to do. So, actually, I'm going to um, finish this up and then come back. Because I know y'all don't want to see sit here and watch me um, doing this. Because it gets quite boring. Um, and then once I'm finished that, you see, it didn't take me that long to do that part inside. So, um, once I'm finished that, I'll come back and I'll show you the, the other steps. Okay, I am back. I'm just trimming these little pieces off. Okay. So, here we go. We are done with this. So... The next step, you got to figure out what you want to be your front and the back. So, I'm going to use that. And this is how it's going to sit on there. So, one thing I did was took my glue gun, put, let's flip that back for a second. Put it right here in the middle. And then you put it right here. And then... And they put it around the front area. And then you stick it. And you just hold just a little bit. So while that's sticking, I can just even the front just a little bit I love my scissors I love them because these are sewing scissors and it has the thing so I'm not really doing too much moving anyway because I, I got arthritis in my hand I got Arthur in my hands for you I guess doing hair, cooking, all types of stuff. So, you know, I'm just trimming it up just a little bit. Wow. That, yeah, looks much better. While that um, glue is sticking. So. Okay. Okay. I think I'm done tripping. So, see, it's stuck on there. So the next thing you got to do is if you're going to put ribbon or pearls, but you know me, I'm going to put these pearls. So what I did, with this type of jar, you're going to have a gap in, in the back because it's on angle. So what I usually just did, I start on the side. And I start right here. No, actually, the glue didn't really come out. I start right here on the where the the gap in the um glue actually works. Then I just start sticking. Stick these. And then I just go around the jar and everything. And um just put glue here and just stick. I did get my use out of these beads. These little pearls for a dollar fifty for eight yards, and it did so many projects. I need to go back and get some more. 
Hopefully this time they have different colors. Or maybe they did have different colors and I was just interested in them. Because I, I guess when I bought them, I didn't know exactly what I was going to use them for. But now that I know I can use them for any project I really wanted, want to. So that will be. So as you get to the back, you're going to put it up here. If that makes any sense. You see? You're going to put it on top of here I'll show you so you put the glue up here on top of the tool you see and then you just put the beads right on top just let it stick for a second before you try to move it see Then you just measure it and you um, snip it so you have the, the weight of the other um, the weight of the other beads holding dragging it down and you just continue to do what you was doing and you just might have to play with it just a little bit to make it look even and Things like that. And just fluff out the your your little tool. Okay. And this is all she wrote. You fluff it out a little, a little bit, however to your liking. It, just because I fluff it out don't mean you have to. It's just whatever how you like it. And that is number two. So let's see about this Shopkins ribbon. Because it was kind of expensive for no reason. But Anything for my daughter. I guess when you have one child, you tend to go overboard a lot. And I do. But I'm like, hey, I only got one. So, how I'm going to do this, I think I'm going to actually do it the way I used to do my, my little bows when I used to. Maybe I just do a regular bow because okay, I'm back. I did the bow. Um, I think it came out pretty cool. I gotta trim this a little bit more. Maybe right here. Much better. I think it came out so cute. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna put the one on a white one and come right back. Okay, I'm back with the white one. Here goes the bow on that one. I'm gonna put something in the middle. I don't know, but these are basic. Glee. That's gonna make one more of these. I bought five of these and five stands. So. Um, yeah, so this came out really cute, and basically, you could do it to anything you want. And I'm so excited! I'm on a roll today, so I might have a couple more videos to come. So, with that being said, I love you for free, and there's nothing you can do about it. Until next time, bye.